Okay. Hi, this is Nina, and I want to thank you for watching my video. Um, this is not the way I intended it to be. I intended to have a video with the, my new settings on my new camera. However, I did something wrong, and it took forever to upload it, so I just forgot about it. But I'm going to do it again, and this time I'm going to do it the generic way, and I'm just going to be happy with that, because I did that with the old camera. Well, what I wanted to tell all of you ladies is that, and gentlemen, is that I wanted to share a scripture with you from the book of um, Matthew, chapter 7, verse 6. Let me get it for you just a second. Okay. I just happen to have... It's saved on the spot here because I did it earlier and I lost the video. Um, chapter 7, um, verse basically is about judging others. And uh, anyway, it's chapter 7, verse 6 in the book of Matthew. And that's in the New Testament. Don't give to dogs what belongs to God. They will only turn and attack you. Don't throw curls in front of pigs. They will trample all over them. Now that's really short and sweet. Um, but what it means basically is, um, okay, first of all, let's talk about pigs. Okay, pigs. Um, you know how, like, you throw, like, the slop out to them and they, like, you know, they run after it and they, like, fight over it. And, you know, we use the term eating like a pig or he was a pig or something like that. Well, it's not a friendly or nice comment, is it? Because pigs are animals. And for, most, for the most part, a lot of people uh, find them to be dirty. Um, they're not kosher. Uh, they're not halal, so uh, the Gentiles can eat them, uh, but some of us Gentiles or some of the Gentiles or whoever uh, may choose even not to eat pork. Some people eat it, some people don't. It's just their choice. I'm not talking about eating pork today. But you see how pigs are, how hogs are. They kind of fight and they snort and they're, they kind of make all these disgusting sounds when they're eating, bless their hearts. But the point of it is, is that it's kind of like it is in life, in true life. Um, imagine you having something really important, something really precious, and it's on your heart, and you want to share it with, with someone, and then instead of sharing it with someone, maybe like a mentor or someone that's, uh, that shares the same spiritual uh, you know, beliefs as you do, but you instead go to your girlfriend next door and you say, hey girl, I was thinking about going and getting my, you know, going for my master's degree now, and and uh, my husband's very supportive of it, but we don't have the money, so we're just gonna have to kind of struggle for a while. And a friend would say, oh, girl, I'm, I'm right behind you, 100%, you know, or they would talk to you about it and whatever and listen to you. But some pig or something might say, that's a waste of time. Do you really think that what you're doing is gonna be any good? Or they'll say, oh, girl, I hear what you're saying, I hear you, good, good for you, girl. And as soon as you're gone, they're on the phone or they're texting someone or they're, you know, talking to someone else and, girl, that girl's stupid. She's spending money for something and she has nothing to show for it. They don't even have a new car. They don't, you know, whatever. Anyway, when you give something precious to someone that's not going to appreciate it, what are they going to do? They're going to trample all over it. So what I'm telling all of you is when you have something on your heart, you need to have a mentor. You need to have a friend, someone that you can go to for spiritual encouragement someone that you can really count on because I tell you what you can have a lot of associates but they're not really your friends and I know for myself that I have a, a, a very good blessing to have several uh, people in my life that I know that I can talk to some of them I go to different things for you know there's some ladies that are relatively older than me that I go to for family things you know I might have some advice on how do you handle when your child goes to camp for the first time and they've gone through it a million times because their kids are grown. Or I might go to a younger friend of mine who I want to go and ask her opinion about some address that I'm, I'm buying and you know, what, is, what does she really think? Does she really think it looks good on me or not? Or does it suit me? You know, or something like that. And she'll give me her true, honest opinion in a loving way. A friend will do that. A mentor will do that. But someone that you just know, you never know. And you might actually be giving something to someone that they're going to actually just abuse and going to break your heart. So everyone needs a friend. So keep that in your mind. And remember, it's in the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 6. And that whole uh, chapter uh, is about uh, judging others. And it's a really good chapter to read. I, I recommend reading the whole book of Matthew. I, I recommend reading the whole Bible. 
But anyway, that's just one of the things. I'm not trying to, um, you know, teach something that doesn't exist or anything. You go look for it, look at it for yourself, and, and you'll see. Um, chapter uh, 7, verse 6, and uh, you'll find what I'm talking about. You have a great day. Bye-bye.